This is IOD's newest paint inlay called Chateau. Here's what I love about it. It's eight pages of beautiful texture, muted colors, and the look of old plaster and wallpaper. Had you ever wondered what it would be like to live in a chateau? I have. I have dreams about it all the time. Remember when I was very little, we would travel to the Thousand Islands, New York, and visit this beautiful castle called Bolt Castle. From the shores of Lake Ontario, we travel up the St. Lawrence Seaway to a beautiful place called the Thousand Islands. Bolt Castle sits on an island called Heart Island. Heart Island was purchased by George Bolt in 1900. Bolt wanted to create a beautiful summer home for his wife, Louisa. Sadly, in 1904, after just four years of construction, Louisa died. George halted all construction and the building was left abandoned. I remember touring that beautiful place with the walls that were decaying and the scraps of wallpaper the texture of the stone, the peeling paint, and I fell in love with that place. This old oak sideboard was left abandoned in our basement for three years. I finally, finally found the answer to this piece, the Chateau Inlay. To prepare your inlay for use, cut away all of the white margins on each of the sheets. I like to do a test fit by putting all of the sheets together and then laying them out against my piece. I knew by measuring that all eight sheets were going to be a perfect fit, so I base coated the piece in white chalk paint and started to lay out each individual inlay sheet, but something didn't seem quite right. So I thought I would try another layout, something that would be more appropriate for fitting the drawers and the doors. On the back, you'll find a roadmap to one of the ways that you can use all eight sheets of Chateau. I had a major aha moment. See all of these little pictures? Here's what I did. I cut these apart and then I used them like one of those, you know, those sliding puzzle games. can switch them around and shift them and move them and lo and behold to my surprise there were so many ways that I could use this inlay. So I went back to my piece and paid careful attention to not only the drawers but the panels on the doors. I needed to do a lot of trimming and rearranging and customizing for this piece. That's what's so cool. You get to customize inlays and cut them apart and use them the way that you need to for your particular furniture piece. Inlays are paint pigments which are embedded into a carrier sheet. They need to be applied into wet paint. So I will begin applying another coat of wet paint, then applying my inlay pigment side down using a brayer to press those pigments into place and then dampening the inlay backing with a damp rag to activate the pigments. I work section by section, completing each of the drawers first before moving on to the doors. I've got to admit, I was a little bit nervous about doing those doors. Here are the steps again. Apply a coat of wet paint, chalk paint works best, then lay your inlay pigment side down into the wet paint. Use a brayer to press those pigments into the paint and then dampen the entire surface of the backing sheet with a damp cloth to activate the pigments. I really had to think about how I was going to cut my inlays for the panel doors. So I just laid on the entire piece and then used my thumb to create a crease line around the panel, trimmed out 
the inner part to save for later. And I also trimmed out those deer. They just weren't gonna work. Then continue to add the inlay sections into areas of wet paint. Also pieced in extra bits and pieces wherever I felt that it was needed. Now let all of your paint and inlays dry completely. After several hours, you can come back with a damp cloth, dampen the carrier sheet, and then begin to peel back the inlays to reveal that beautiful transferred paint pigment. Again, dampen the carrier sheet and then gently pull back the inlay to reveal the pigments, one section at a time. Here's what I love about these inlays. You can use them over and over again. On this piece here, I used them once, then I used them a second time, and in some areas, I even used them a third time. So I applied those second use pieces here and there on my sideboard to create some added dimension and some extra texture. Using the inlay sections a second time helped me to get the very soft faded look that I wanted. And it also helped me to fill in any other extra spaces that needed more detail. And I still have all of this left. I chose to wet distress my piece because it was chalk paint, but you do want to be careful when you are using any water or a liquid on the inlays because the inlays will be reactivated with water and you'll get smudging. I want to set my pigments now to prepare for my final finish. So I've applied two misting coats of a 50-50 poly water mix allow the coats to dry completely between, and then finish with your favorite finish. It could be clear polycrylic, or it could be wax, whatever you like. I live in a cottage on the shores of Lake Ontario, not too far from Bolt Castle. Our little cottage is a labor of love, something that my husband and I have worked on for five years to create the home of our dreams, our little castle. Our cottage is weathered and worn and has been completely rebuilt. It has interesting textures. We've used old materials and soft colors to create a worn and lived in look. I will never live in a French chateau. I'll never live in a European castle, but I will always live in our little cottage on the lake. You'll find links in the description box below for all the products that I use today, including IOD's new inlay called Chateau. You'll also find them at our brick and mortar store in Medina, New York, and at lnjgoods.com. Most of Bolt Castle has been fully restored and is now used as a romantic wedding chateau. We don't want you to miss another project that we do at LNJ Goods, so go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification button. We'll see you for the next project here at L&J Goods.